Welcome back everyone. This video is a tribute to all the stars who created wonderful memories for us, and we honor their lasting legacy. But before we start, let me know if you recognize any of the following actors and actresses. When did you notice? Renee Godfrey was a talented actor known for her exceptional performances in popular movies and TV shows. Her dedication to her craft paid off with numerous award nominations and wins. Godfrey's kindness and generosity also endeared her to many, and she was greatly missed when news of her untimely death broke in 2021 at age 54. Despite her passing, Godfrey's legacy lives on through her outstanding performances, inspiring work ethic, and kind-hearted nature. Rest in peace, Renee Godfrey. Jared Martin was an American actor known for his role as Stephen Dusty Farlow in Dallas. He appeared in over 40 films and TV shows, including The Fantastic Journey and War of the Worlds. Martin was also an artist and photographer whose work was featured in U.S. galleries. He played Dusty Farlow from 1979 to 1982 and again in 1991, making him a household name. Sadly, he passed away in 2017 from pancreatic cancer at age 75. Martin's legacy as an actor and artist continues to inspire fans and fellow artists, and his work in Dallas helped define the television drama genre. Dick Martin was an American actor, comedian, and TV director who rose to prominence in the 60s co-hosting the popular show Laugh-In. Alongside Dan Rowan, Martin brought political satire and irreverent humor to audiences, winning multiple Emmys and becoming a cultural icon. He appeared in several TV shows and films, including The Love Boat and The Bob Newhart Show, and directed popular shows like Family Ties and Newhart. His ability to connect with audiences through his wit, charm, and irreverent humor made him a beloved figure in entertainment. Sadly, Martin passed away in 2008 at age 86 due to respiratory complications and a heart attack. Despite his passing, Martin's legacy as an entertainer and trailblazer in comedy and TV lives on. Guy Kibbe was a prolific American actor who appeared in over 100 films throughout his career. He often played supporting roles in comedies and dramas and was known for his comedic timing and ability to steal scenes with his wit and charm. Kibbe was also a talented singer and dancer and portrayed Horace Vanderdelder in the original Broadway production of Hello, Dolly. In 1964, despite his success, Kibbe remained humble and respected for his professionalism on set. Sadly, he passed away in 1956 at the age of 74 due to complications from surgery. Kibbe's legacy as a beloved actor who left an indelible mark on Hollywood serves as a reminder of the power of entertainment to bring joy and laughter to audiences. Bert Quook, born in 1930 in Warrington, England, was a British actor of Chinese descent. His six-decade-long acting career included appearances in television shows, films, and voice acting roles, notably the Pink Panther film series, where he played the bumbling sidekick Kato. Quook's passion for acting was inspiring, as he continued to work in the industry into his 80s. He passed away in 2016 at the age of 85, leaving behind a lasting legacy in the entertainment industry. Edward Mulhair was an Irish actor who excelled on both stage and screen. After starting his career in Cork, he moved to England and starred in productions such as The Rivals and My Fair Lady. In the 60s and 70s, he gained fame on American TV, appearing in shows like The Ghost and Mrs. Muir and Knight Rider. Mulhair was known for his distinctive voice and charm, making him perfect for leading roles and villainous characters. In addition, he was a dedicated philanthropist and was honored by the National Multiple Sclerosis Society with the Spirit of Hope Award in 1983. He continued acting into his 70s, and his last performance was in 1990 SIXS The Best Revenge. Sadly, he passed away from lung cancer on May 24, 1997. Mulhair's legacy in entertainment and charity remains a source of inspiration. John Abbott was a British character actor with over 150 film and TV appearances spanning five decades. He was known for his versatility, 
playing a wide range of characters from villains to sympathetic figures. Notable performances include King Louis XIII in The Three Musketeers and an aging butler in The Invisible Man's Revenge. Abbott's distinctive voice and refined British accent added to his popularity. Despite passing away in 1996 at the age of 90 due to natural causes, he remains a respected figure in the entertainment industry, leaving behind a legacy as a talented and beloved character actor. Hermione Gingold was an English actress with a distinctive husky voice and dry wit. She began on stage in London and Broadway, gaining fame in the 1950s for her role in A Little Night Music. Gingold appeared in films like Gigi and Belle, Book and Candle, often stealing scenes with her eccentric or snobbish characters. She also published several books, including How to Grow Old Disgracefully. Jin Gold was awarded the Order of the British Empire in 1986 for her contributions to the arts. Sadly, she passed away in 1987 at 89 due to a heart attack, but her legacy endures in her memorable performances and impact on theater and film.